Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday, the last day of the third week of school for term one of the spring semester 2022. Overall, it has gone pretty well. This week has been the first week of this term where I have seen a little bit of more homework assigned, but overall, the theme for this term is definitely reading. This week I did a lot of reading just like the previous weeks. For my HIM management and leadership class we had five chapters to read this week. Four chapters were out of this smaller book which I've showed before and one chapter out of this book which I've also showed before. This textbook is a textbook that is used throughout the whole program and this semester I've used it quite a bit. For the HIM and leadership class there was one chapter assigned out of this textbook and it was on human resources. For the HIM management and leadership class we also had a discussion to complete as usual and the discussion topic was on employer retention. I really enjoyed this week's discussion. It was something that I could relate to and that I think is very important. The course project is on the full recruitment cycle and this week we had to complete part one which consisted of a summary on how to effectively hire an HIM professional and also we had to do research on the difference between hiring an HIM professional versus a non-professional staff member. Part two of part one was on how we would go about narrowing a pool of applicants to three applicants. Part three of part one was on composing six effective interview questions and part four was a paragraph on why the six questions we compose are effective questions. Part five was on creating four bad interview questions. Part B of part four was on describing why the four bad questions we selected for part A of part four were not effective questions. As of today I am completely done with all my assignments for both classes. The last assignment I completed for my HIM management and leadership class was this part one of the course project. Throughout the term we will be working on the remainder of the parts of this course project which in total I believe there are four different parts. And that was pretty much it for my HIM management and leadership class. Regarding my HIM practicum class, things are also picking up in that class. Definitely there was a lot more homework this week than previous Previously, we had the usual assignments which consisted of reading an article and a discussion. For my HIM internship class, the topic this week was the second domain of the RHIA exam, which is compliance with uses and disclosures of protected health information. We spent all week diving into release of information and the B-Lab activity this week was based on a release of information activity using Meditech. Interestingly enough, this activity had been assigned as part of my B-Lab activities when I completed my associate's degree program in health information technology, but it was nice to see the activity again and just get a refresher on release of information. The discussion this week was also on protected health information and we had an article to read that was written by Ahima on release of information and that article was part of our discussion material. As I've said in the past, the HIM practicum class is very big. We have 22 students in this class. The discussion threads are very involved. You can really see the difference between the discussions in my HIM practicum class compared to my HIM management and leadership class. Along with the Meditech VLAB activity on release of information, we also had an additional activity to complete on release of information where 
we were giving examples of situations a release of information department would encounter and it would also give us the action the release of information department took and we either had to agree with that action or disagree and say why. That additional release of information activity had two parts. One was either agreeing or disagreeing with the action of the release of information department. The second part of this activity was to create a log in Microsoft Word using a table as a record of disclosures. And when we had to log a made up release of information request. This week working with VLAB was a lot easier than last week. We only had that single release of information activity, which did not take a lot of time compared to the three activities we had last week. As I stated earlier, this week really did require more time and dedication because this week we had an increase in coursework. But overall, things are going pretty good. Uh, next week is already the fourth week of the term, which means it's the midpoint of this term. I cannot believe how fast this term is going, which is exciting because the closer I get to the end of the term, the faster I will graduate. For this coming up week, I am really excited because I began my internship. And tomorrow I have a meeting with my director who will be facilitating my internship this term. She has actually given me a schedule with all the meetings we will be having this term and the topic of each meeting. So it was very exciting to go through the schedule. We will be talking about topics such as creation of assignments, student engagement, and how to create a syllabus. And again, my internship will be focused on teaching because one of the reasons I returned to school to earn a bachelor's degree is to be able to meet the qualifications for an instructor in health information management or health information technology. The rest of my classmates are doing a traditional internship at a medical facility. Anyways, I think that is it for this week. I hope you had a good week and if you are a student, keep up the good work. We are almost halfway through the semester and I am excited to begin week four, which again will give me that much closer to my degree. See you soon.